On the surface, it sounds far-fetched, but driverless trains could soon be a reality. The state government is already backing away from the idea, despite a report showing the North West Rail Link could be fully automated. Here's political reporter Josh Murphy. London does it in the form of the Docklands Light Rail. This is the cab view from Copenhagen, Denmark, and the ride's similar on the Dubai Metro. All operate without drivers. And the same idea has been floated for Sydney's newest line, the North West Rail Link. Where did that suggestion come from? Well, it came from his own transport department in a rail systems briefing, which says initial North West Rail Link requirements should include the potential for automatic train operation. It, it's not a prospect that's been put to me, it's not a prospect that's come across my desk. But the Transport Minister hasn't ruled it out. So how would a driverless train affect your commute? Well, to tell the truth, you shouldn't even notice the difference. The only change is it's a lot cheaper for governments to run. Possibly why the government shied away from talking more about it to avoid a conflict with train drivers. Driverless trains are just another way for them to cut costs and not deliver good service to the people of Sydney. And unions have flagged safety fears. Just last month, uh, the London Underground was fined because an out of control driverless train travelled for over six kilometres uh, before it could be stopped. But even if the Premier wanted the rail line to be automated, it may not work in with the existing old style city rail system. Josh Murphy, 10 News.